The last thing it's been is easy. Very excited. The truth is, it's been so hard at times, they didn't know if they'd get to the other side. But they're here. Yeah. And it's a place where Chip Madron and his family will shed many more tears. Because it's just that good. From the very beginning, when Chip was in the hospital, in the ICU, when Casper came and got in bed with Chip, um, we knew that Chip needed a dog. Use your stomach muscles, use your stomach muscles. Good, 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 good. The beginning was at Children's three and a half years ago. What's abnormal is this stuff right here. When then 13-year-old Chip was diagnosed with an aggressive, cancerous brain tumor. <laughs> we met him six months after surgery, when he was bedridden, unable to speak. We were with Chip again. Can I take away a hand? 18 months after surgery. Just to get back to walking. He had regained the use of his voice. And during the interview, he told us about a night in the hospital when he almost died. I saw the gates of heaven. And I wasn't allowed to go in because I knew God was protecting me the whole time. Once this revelation was broadcast, it changed the Madrins' lives. Suddenly, everyone knew them, knew Chip. But it happened a lot. Home Depot. That's you, that's you, that's you. I know you. you, I know you, you're the kid. And, and, and they'll say, I was watching your story with my father, and when he saw your story, he believed and he turned his life over to Christ. More than I've heard once. that more than once. For Chip, the intensely private experience changed his relationship with God. It God feels like more my friend now. I don't really think of him as different anymore. Chip is cancer-free for two years, back in school, back to hunting, still relearning to eat and walk. I'm not as fragile anymore. <laughs> He's big and puffy. This one needs a bigger cage. <laughs> the next big step, getting a dog from canine assistance. I would like to be able to walk with the dog. Chip won't pick his dog, the dog will pick him. And they say you just know. In 1979. Canine Assistance founder Jennifer Arnold. I never get tired of seeing it. It's magical every single time. The dogs are sweet, oh. but not a fit. You want to give her a treat? And then Vera comes in. Can you say her name? Can you say it? Vera. 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 Watching this dog come in and, and looked up at Chip. And, and really said with her eyes, you know, where have you been? Where have you, I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? I'm looking for you. <sighs> it was emotional. Because you could tell that there was an automatic bond. Vera, Vera, Doug. Chip takes Vera home, where they begin the hard work of becoming a team. Vera learns to anticipate his needs, how to help him, how to love him. Yeah, you a good girl. Graduation is emotional. Next we have Chip and Vera. <laughs> Chip meets the volunteer who raised Vera and gave her up. As a 17-year-old who has had far too much taken away, Chip understands the enormity of the sacrifice. That's a lot really made me start to cry. This is what better looks like. This is the other side. It's not how most of us would imagine it, but within Chip lives a truth that is more powerful than any illness. What are you grateful for? Life, really. And now I'm alive. Jay Watson, 11 Alive News.